Hello guys, welcome back. Here at Non Bespoke Elegance, no fast fashion, only timeless classics. And today I bring you a very fine pair of tassel loafer from Miss Kimudo. And without further ado, let's dive into it. Okay, uh, first touch, leather is so smooth. By the way, this is a vegetable tan leather calf skin. Uh, these shoes are made in Portugal. Uh, we can see that from the bottom. I'll show you more pictures, detail regarding this later. And uh, the leather is veg tan, very smooth, very interesting leather. The color is Woodbury, they call that. It's actually more reddish burgundy here we got. And the toe shape, again, it's a classic round toe shape. And we have a very nicely finished stitched apron here. And uh, a very nice uh, tassel here. It's very nicely finished. Someone may think that a tassel loafer is less formal than penny loafer, it's actually not. Uh, many men pair that tassel loafer with their suits or with their uh, go-to-work uh, outfits, so that's very normal. Uh, and also here we have moving towards the side look here. It's pretty sleek and uh, pretty well balanced, you can see from here. Uh, the shoe is well balanced with the toe part uh, very lean towards the ground. That's really a sign of a very fine pair of shoes instead of curving up. Like... Sleek design here and a very nicely finished arch here. Very nice curvature. Structured heel and structured rear quarter here. And uh, the heel stack is uh, very nicely, very tightly connected to the upper of the leather. So this part has no visible gap. You can see there's no actually no gap at all here at the very back. I'll show you more in picture. And here, uh, moving towards from the back to the inner side here, again, we have a very decent height heel and a very nice arch support. So that this leather is wrapped around here, you can see, it's pretty wrapped around inside. So that way, your foot here, your arch, the leather will just give your arch a lift so that way you can have more support from this area to make you more comfortable and again very nice finished side look moving towards here we have a very nicely finished bottom i mean this bottom feels like a very fine cotton they actually use that uh, sand machine to sand it off and wax it so this actually feels like really nice, really smooth. This Remember this is leather, so it's supposed not to be like cotton linen, but this actually feels like cotton or just very high quality silk. So, uh, and also they got some nails here to uh, fortify this heel part and a very narrow, uh, very sweet uh, waist here with some indentation here. So, uh, and here you can see this Camudo, uh, crafted by a uh, craftsman in Portugal. And by the way, 
this shoe is actually a uh, flake stitch, which means the uh, upper leather is actually stitched through the inner sole and the outsole. So actually there's a stitch going from uh, here, from the upper leather directly to the inner sole and the outer sole here. You can see the outsole here, right? So the stitch directly instead of using a weld. So that way it makes this loafer more sleek and more uh, casual and uh, overall a very dapper, sleek look. So what bottom you can pair with this Tesla loafer? Here I'm choosing a lighter color white-ish short. Also a navy blue short will also be good in summer. Navy and burgundy are match in a heaven. And here you can also wear some denim jeans here. I'm wearing a no-show socks. You can also pair it with uh, colorful socks. And in the fall, you can wear it with uh, some light chinos with a uh, colorful sock or colorful socks. <laughs> I'm actually dancing here. <laughs> and also, uh, last but not least, you can pair this tassel loafer with a navy blue suit pant. And here, I'm doing a short comparison between my Love and Tongue loafer and this means Komodo loafer. You can see their, their uh, leather quality are almost exactly the same. They feel the same. Both are really, really smooth. And the colors are gorgeous. This one is made in Portugal and Love and Tongue actually is made in Spain. The construction, the leather quality, the aesthetics, all perfect. You see, I really love this, love these two shoes. And here, on the other hand, we have Kohan. We did a review on. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put the link here. This one is simply B A D bad. B A D. Bad. Okay, that's pretty much for today's review. I really hope you guys enjoyed it because uh, this is really a fine pair of shoes. The tassel loafer, the leather, the quality, the blade construction, the finish of the bottom especially. It's all very high top notch. It's very high, it's very top. It's really a timeless classic piece and uh, the finish, the design, and uh, are all top notch. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.